We've got big changes coming to the platform this week, starting with the priority tier. Stay tuned. All right, let's get right into it, guys. We've got tier changes coming to the platform. The priority tier is being renamed to Performance and introducing new enhancements and features to provide members more GeForce-powered premium gaming in the cloud, all while maintaining the same great pricing as priority. The updates are part of GeForce Now's core promises, providing members with an amazing gaming PC that's constantly being improved. Let's get into those exact changes. Performance members will elevate their streaming experience with updated 1440p resolution, an upgrade from the previous 1080p limitation but still at 60fps. Ultra wide resolutions will also be supported, previously only available for Ultimate members. Here are the resolutions supported. Performance members can now save their in-game graphics settings across their sessions, including NVIDIA RTX features in supported titles. And the last point, and probably the most important, is that the price will stay the same. Now before you guys jump for joy, here are the bad changes. Starting January 1st, 2025, new members who sign up for Ultimate or Performance will see a new high monthly playtime max of 100 hours. What? What the fu- Yeah, they're adding caps to our playtimes. Now this is for new members who sign up next year. They did this to keep the pricing the same for the foreseeable future. Now it will be possible to automatically roll over up to 15 hours of unused time to the next month. Hours can be tracked in the updated account portal and it will be possible to purchase additional playtime as needed. I have no idea how much that's gonna cost. Now current users are not out of the woods yet. NVIDIA notes that all active paid subscription members as of the end of the year will continue with unlimited playtime and lock it in for a full year until January 1st, 2026. So playtimes will affect current users in 2026 and not 2025. Guys, don't cancel your membership. Now last but not least, day passes will be on sale for a limited time. Ultimate and Performance Day Passes will be 25% off until November 22nd, 2024. From there, it's an easy upgrade to lock in the full year of unlimited playtime with a monthly or six-month recurring membership. Users can also apply the value of their last Day Pass purchased towards any monthly membership if they sign up within 48 hours of their Day Pass expiration. How nice! So that's the update. We'll be seeing how the new priority, uh, excuse me, performance tier performs on various games, no pun intended. But first, let's talk about this. The upgrade to 1440p and ultra wide screens for the new performance tier is well needed and a welcomed one. Unfortunately, this comes with Nvidia adding monthly playtime caps in the near future. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. Another thing I wanted to mention is that due to this change, they are probably upgrading the free tier as well with older priority hardware. That's not confirmed, but that would make sense. This would also mean that they are preparing the ultimate tier for brand new hardware, most likely new Blackwell hardware for next year. I've talked about this earlier in the year. Check out that video here. Now onto the games for the week. There are seven games added to the cloud this week, two on Xbox and five on Steam. Starting with the Xbox games, first we have StarCraft 2, available on PC Game Pass. StarCraft Remastered, also available on PC Game Pass. Planet Coaster 2, a new release on Steam. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate, a new release on Steam. Empire of Ants, a new release on Steam. Unreal 2, back on track, a new release on Steam. TCG Card Shop Simulator, available on Steam. If you like this news overview for GeForce Now, make sure to give us a like. If you're looking to get started with GeForce Now, the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.